Paul said, God forbid that I should glory, save in the cross of Jesus Christ, by which the world is crucified to me and I to the world. All right, let's go on a little further. All who dwell on the earth will worship him, whose names have not been written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. That's a dramatic statement. The whole human race will worship him, except those whom God has chosen for himself whose names have been written in the Lamb's book of life from the foundation of the world. Then we see this other very sinister person who's briefly, whom we'll just glance at briefly here, the second beast. We're going on now in verse 11. Then I saw another beast coming out of, up out of the earth and he had two horns like a lamb and spoke like a dragon. He appeared to be a lamb but he had really the voice of a dragon. I believe this is a religious person. Generally speaking, he's called the false prophet. And I believe that false religion is going to align itself with a false messiah. And I suggest to you that this is already happening. For instance, in China, where the official three self movement under Bishop Ding at the present time has aligned itself totally with the atheistic communist government and is the main persecutor of the real Christians. I think very much the same happened in Soviet Russia, where the head of the Russian Orthodox Church totally endorsed Stalin, and is now having an embarrassing time deciding what to say about it. See, I believe that the political ruler will appreciate the importance of religion and will co-opt religion in its false form to support his power. And he exercises all the authority of the first beast in his presence and causes the earth and those who dwell in it to worship the first beast whose deadly wound was healed. We,